Irina Bokova, former Director General of UNESCO. Irina is, um, was, the, was the Director General of UNESCO from 2009 till 2017, and during her political and diplomatic career in Bulgaria, she served, among others, two terms as a member of the National Parliament and Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs and Minister of Foreign Affairs ad interim. Please welcome Irina Bokova. And I'm here because I think we are all passionate about sport because sport is this vehicle that brings about social inclusion, that brings about peace, mutual understanding, that fights prejudices, that is a vehicle for self-esteem, for a better understanding of the others, for human rights and for human dignity. And I say this because of my eight years at the helm of UNESCO, the United Nations Agency, that is responsible for leading the education agenda, but not only. We work in gender, we work in uh, youth, uh, we work in the intercultural dialogue. And I have noticed by myself uh, visiting uh, many countries, uh, refugee camps, and I'm very uh, happy that Roussel is here to share the experience of the uh, agency for, for refugees. I have seen the power of sport. And sport is not just physical education. Sport, as I said, is about inclusive communities and inclusive societies. Now, when the United Nations were preparing and we were all working there in partnerships, the Sustainable Development Agenda to the year 2030, unfortunately, sport was not among the goals or the targets. But still, we have an opening. Sport is recognized as an enabler of sustainable development in the preamble of the Agenda 2030. So, we have it there. We wish it was more integrated into the 17 goals and 169 targets, but it was not the case. This does not prevent us from working and to seeing how sport contributes to the implementation of the Sustainable Development Agenda, something that Secretary-General Antonio Gutierrez just mentioned. And this is where I think our responsibility of all the partners lies. At least this was the responsibility and still is of UNESCO. Let me just remind you that UNESCO is leading a unique platform of ministers of sports. Some of you are here and some of you have been partners of UNESCO. I say all this because we need these large platforms of discussions and debates with ministers, with the sports associations, with the global players, with civil society, with the private sector. We know that nowadays sports has become also big business, but we should never forget that one of the main responsibilities is to make sports accessible. Unfortunately, we see that sports practices is declining in everywhere in the world, in developed societies, in developing countries. Children prefer to stay in front of the playstations than go to the playgrounds. And this is where we need partnerships. We need first to hold governments accountable. We need also to create platforms for sharing good practices, but we need also to mobilize very strong partnerships because sport is having a huge impact in Colombia, in refugee camps, in Zatar, in some other parts of the world. I have seen what sports contributes in South Sudan, in the Central African Republic, when we see teams from different backgrounds of young people playing together. But we need also to invest in sports, to look at the infrastructure, and to look at the equity, accessibility, and quality of sports. We all know that, unfortunately, girls are not encouraged, they are not prevented, they are not enabling environments for girls in many settings to be engaged in sports activities. All by, all by it, we have the Brighton Declaration, adopted in 94, about women in sports, there were major conferences, gatherings in 2014 in Helsinki. There are champions, there is a special working group that contributes, but still it remains a huge challenge. 
I think sports as a cross-cutting issue, as an issue that cuts all over and covers all the 17 development goals may play a hugely important role. And last, I do believe we are looking for leadership. We are looking for new partnerships. And I think the new leadership today is partnerships. And I would like to congratulate Peace and Sport, to congratulate for this 10th anniversary, to congratulate for this leadership, and for establishing this wonderful platform. And thank you once again, Monsignor, for supporting this so important global initiative to be the new leadership through this wonderful platform and gathering. Thank you.